Hello everybody, my name is Demarcus Robinson and welcome to Bims Bites where we take a bite out of science. Did you know that there's areas in the ocean that contain little to no oxygen? When we think about the ocean, we think about the beach. We think about finding Nemo, finding Dory, we think about the little mermaid, we think about large whales, we think about dolphins, we think about little fish, we think about little crustaceans, we think about jellyfish, but we don't really actually think about what supports life and what supports life in the ocean. In this case, oxygen is the big supporter of life. And there's areas in the ocean that contain little oxygen. We call these areas oxygen minimum zones. You can find them at any part of the globe, but before we talk about where they're at, let's talk about how they're formed. At the surface of the ocean, we have phytoplankton, which are microscopic organisms that make oxygen through photosynthesis, similar to trees that we see on land. In the deep ocean, we have nutrients like nitrates and phosphates needed for phytoplankton growth. But how does these food or nutrients reach the surface of the ocean for phytoplankton? The wind pushes on the ocean, causes the nutrients to be brought up to the surface through a process called upwelling for phytoplankton to eat. Phytoplankton begin to eat the food and multiply and grow and producing a lot of byproducts. Eventually, phytoplankton reaches a maximum growth and they die. They eventually sink through the ocean as marine snow or particles and then bacteria come and they feed on the marine snow or particles and consume a ton of oxygen in the process. This creates a condition called hypoxia, really meaning low oxygen to support any life in the ocean. So what are the typical patterns that we see in oxygen minimum zones? We kind of see two of them. One that we just discussed where we have oxygen that decreases from the surface to the interior of the ocean and oxygen that decreases from the deep all the way into the interior of the ocean. This creates this low band of low oxygen that we see into the center of the ocean. We also can view them in, different, in another way where we have low oxygen that decreases from the surface all the way into the interior, all the way to the deep parts of the ocean. Oxygen minimum zones, you can find them almost anywhere. Well, not almost anywhere. You can mostly find them contained on western sides of most continents. So on the California coast, if you live in the state of California, you have oxygen minimum zone right next to you. If you live in India, you have oxygen minimum zone right next to you. The largest oxygen minimum zone is in the tropical Pacific. That stretches from South America all the way into the middle of the ocean, all the way up to Australia. If you want to know more about oxygen minimum zones and more about ocean science, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And make sure you check out Black and Marine Science for more ocean science news and facts and follow these great people. Peace.